Happy Meal Vlog TV. I have another thing I want to show you guys how to make a perfect sweet and smoky chicken hamonado sausage. I got that from a Filipino store around here. So I'm going to show you guys how perfect you can make this. Similar to I make my um, skinless sausage. Okay. So this is a salad master. If you don't have any salad master, that's fine. You can use any um, any kind of pots. Okay. But this is what I use because I have some salad master. So when I taste that tasting, not taste, tasting the the pot that it, it's ready to be cooked into. Look at that. See, it become like a marble. That means it's high heat enough, hot enough. I mean, uh, okay. So what you do is the same way. Okay, the same way. Water. You can use in any other pot. It's fine. You do that. I know it's a great cook, but I still want to really cook it. You know. So I do that until it boils down. The water. And until it evaporates totally. And then the oil come out from the sausage. So it's better that way. It's more healthier and no guilt, you know. Are you eating this and that so there you go I'll show you guys that later when after boiling and things or else you're gonna wait a little bit but it's not long there you go boiling right now it's just start boiling so just like that and then you can determine later when it's done because it's caramelized there we go. In the middle of boiling now. Ayan. Tapos tusok-tusokin mo siya konti para lalabas yung mga ano niya, oil niya. I just wanna take out the oil. Just, you know, slightly. Just slightly poke it. There. here it is all the water disappeared now evaporate now you got to do is to put ketchup it's just the way I make it oh sorry just a little bit just enough to cover them and coated them so just do like that banana ketchup I like the combination to it together you know some I still do make like a soca with a vinegar with uh, a little bit of seasoning and you can dip them around and it's good with the rice also so I put it to low or low medium see medium low I mean so just enough to heat up and it's gonna be perfect just not overcooking them it's already pre-cooked but still you know you want it like the taste of your choice a little bit of ketchup and things. Yeah, and keep sauteing until you get the caramelized flavor to it with a ketchup. I put that a while and then just, you know, so keep sauteing in the medium high heat now. So I'll try to make it medium high heat now. And keep stirring it because it might burn, you know. There it is really really almost done I waited until it brownish and caramelized and that's how you make it perfect here guys done you can see the difference here I'll show you guys what's the difference of just boiling or just grilling but look at that caramelized and it's way way yummy when you do this kind just do it once you might like it and that's how I do it and every time I cook hamonado I always make it that way it's like a tocino style also at the same time there it is it's all done see I caramelized that and it's really don't worry about the pot it's easy to clean so now you're gonna I'm gonna plate that right here plate that just like that yummy mm -hmm. 
There we go. See how easy that is? Look at the hamonado. Here it is, all done with some lime, lemon lime, and some mint. So perfect for the rice. Uh -oh. boiled now after that you strain it you strain it too let's put in my salad master let me strain that I'll clean it out sorry clean it out that's how I make my hot dog soft to eat not harden. Sometimes when you, oh, sorry, but let me wipe my camera. There. This is the whole package. Brandon, my helper. corn beef you know no nothing because it doesn't like garlic or anything you just heat it up and just put like garlic powder bell pepper I mean black pepper not bell pepper Eat it the 
the video, okay? Now my son is waiting for lunch. <laughs>